Hi, the next topic SCV type 2 date range. So here we are taking AMP table as a source and this is target table. I have already added two columns here start date and end date of the records. So I am creating a new mapping with date range. drag and drop source and target first this is source and this is target so same process create a lookup transmission on target table what is the target table here EMP date range okay so first we are passing source department number into lookup transmission to create the condition here employee number into lookup transmission change this name for, ED, for easy identification this is source column we are using this column only for condition input port then create a condition here employee number of lookup equal to employee number of source okay so the next transmission is expression so here first we have to take all the columns from source qualifier to expression so here the mag maximum columns we can take because salary will change Commission will change, MGR will change, job designation also will change, the employee number, employee name will not change. So the changes will possible in job, MGR, salary and commission. So we can take these columns to check that update condition. And employee number is required to identify new record condition. So employee name is not required. So from lookup, I'm taking employee number, job, sequence number, MGR, salary, and commission. Okay. So change the names here. This is LKP. We are using input and output both. LKP, sequence number. To modify previous record end date okay like this we need to modify all the records lookup job lookup MGR lookup salary and lookup commission all our input ports we are using only for condition we are not taking any output from these columns so that's why we are using only for input purpose okay so after this we have to create three columns one is for new record condition update record condition and start date so these are output ports o underscore new record condition and this is for update record and last one start date so this is date and the, re the remaining are string columns so these are output there is no input for these columns so disable input ports for these three columns next create the condition here the new record condition is always same if of is null of lookup employee number 
so if lookup returns null value then the source record is in new record if lookup returns a value then we need to check the second condition update so here true comma false TRUE. Okay. And here update condition. In previous example, we checked only location to identify update columns. But here we are checking all salary, commission, job and MGR. So first, take source employee number equal to lookup employee number and we need to create one condition that is source job not equal to with lookup job or source mg or source mg or not equal to with lookup mg or or source salary not equal to with lookup salary or source commission not equal to with lookup commission close this bracket true comma false so here when the employee numbers are matching with the source and target values and if any one of the column job or mg or, or salary or commission any one of the column value is if it is not matching with the existing record value then we can consider the source record is a update record so currently we have four columns to check update record if you have 10 columns or 20 columns we need to mention if you are getting any changes in that columns definitely we can consider the source record is a update record okay so the start date here sys date okay same process next create a filter So into this filter drag and drop all source column and new record condition and sysstate sysstate not required here because for start date we are passing hire date start date we are taking hire date from source so pass all columns into the target and from salary to department number For start date, we are giving hire date value. Okay, for each and every new record, start date value is a hire date. This one we are taking from the source. So end date is null for each and every new record. So we can identify latest records where end date is null. Those records are latest records. So inversion. Which records contain maximum version? Those are the latest records. In flag, which records contain flag value equal to 1? Those are latest. Here we can identify the latest records. Which records end date is null? Those are the latest records. Okay. So for sequence number, sequence generator, we are creating from next value to sequence number. So this is the new record flow completely 
and we have to create update record flow in filter the condition is new record so already we created the condition this column column always contain true or false values if it is true means the source record is a new record if it is false means the source record already existing record okay next transmission again one more filter to find out update records so here also i'm taking all source columns and look up sequence number also required and update record condition and start date okay So here we need to take dummy of the targets because multiple inputs will not accept single target. So copy, paste. So this is also for new record in update new records means already one record is existed in the target we got some changes in the target so we are not updating the same record with the latest changes we are inserting a new record with the latest changes so pass source employee numbers to department number into here and high day to start date not this one so here in update this is the latest changes so sys date we need to pass and hide date to start date okay these connections are missed i'll repeat one more time so from employee number employee name job mgr pass these columns first so from salary to department number okay here First, I'll give that example, then you will get clear idea. So here, when we are inserting a new record, when we are inserting a new record, the end date is now. So from source, the high date we are pass passing to start date. Okay. So if you have any changes in the existing record, we are passing, we are passing the sys date value into the end date and the same sys date value into the start date because this record is created on 1st 1st 2000 and this record is modified on 1st 2nd okay so this is the end date of the first record and start date of the new record so here we need to pass the sys date into start date okay end date is null because in update this is the latest information so latest records always contain end date value is null okay so next at the same time we have to update the previous record end date so we require here update strategy so from source we require only lookup sequence number and start date value okay take one more dummy of the target
So we are using to update the start date into end date. Here end date is start date. New record start date is existing record end date. So change the conditions here. This is update record condition. Okay. And in update strategy, the condition is dd underscore update. Okay. And here in lookup, we have to override that lookup override condition to identify latest records from the lookup table, same like version. Otherwise, it will give any one of the record randomly it will pick and it will return any one of the record but we require where end date is null because those are the latest records where end underscore date is null okay so generate this query in the database edit, paste, end date is null. Okay, condition is valid condition. Here, after this, create your workflow and session.